Hello, welcome back. I've been away for a long time, but it been good. Been doing some things, you know, busy and stuff because YouTube don't pay me no money, so I gotta concentrate on what put food on the table. Anyhow, let's get into it. I want to talk about Israel today. You know, the Israeli state, the apartheid state of Israel, where they um the slaughtering the Palestinians have them living in an open air prison let's rephrase that because I don't think these people are in an open air prison <laughs> these people are in maximum security if they need to travel from left to right north to south there's a big wall surrounding them they are um, they are on checkpoints everywhere the security forces walking in the, the in Palestine, going destroying the houses, killing them, murdering them, take, stealing the land. And all of this here is done by the help of the media and the European Union. Okay, let, and US here. Okay, I can rephrase that again. The collective West. You know the collective West? The big nations. I guess if you don't know, I can just tell you who's the big nations. Australia, New Zealand. Japan, Korea, South Korea, United States, Sweden. Before Sweden, let's talk. I live in Sweden, so let's talk about Sweden. Before Sweden used to try to put pressure on Israel to free the Palestinians, but now that have been thrown out the window. I remember about a decade ago when a new Swedish government came in, which is the Social Party. Their foreign minister spoke up about that. And Israel was complaining. Israel wanted to take their um, embassy, close their embassy, and take up close diplomatic ties with the, the Swedish. But since that, the Swedish have gone deaf. It's been deaf on the Swedish side. Nobody is standing up for the Palestinians because the Palestinians is supposed to be terrorists or Muslims because. It's okay to criticize Muslims. It's okay to say just about anything about Muslims. It is accepted in the media and in society because people have been spoon fed that these people are not human beings. I live among a lot of Muslims and I can tell you something. I'm not a religious person. I do not believe in religion. I don't, I'm not a Jew. I'm not a Catholic. I'm not a Muslim. I'm nothing. I'm a human being because I don't believe in the, these um the, these um these kind of I don't want to say the word because I was gonna swear. But anyhow, I'm just I'm just a human being because these things divide us. These religions, these these um political, this tribe, these 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 things divide us. And I'm going off course right now, so let me get back to Israel because I'm burning, I'm burning with anger. Because Israel, such a big nation, they're not big in landmass. They're big because they are being supported by the European Union, the United States. Because if you realize something, the people of America support the Israeli people, all of the military hardware and stuff is American, almost 95%. And every year America pass a budget, Israel is there getting money. They are their welfare queens. They, 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 they are just siphoning off the, just sucking the blood out of the American people. And every president come, did nothing to help the the um the Palestinian people. When if you know your history, the Second World War, when these people was getting slaughtered all over Europe, the Palestinians opened their arms and their doors and welcomed the Israelis with the help of the British, the European Union and not European Union at the time because every man was for himself. 
and they, they open their doors and thing and welcome these people and give them a safe place. And now these people, the Jewish now, saying that they that, that is their land. That's their holy land. Now they're playing this religious card. How you can be religious and just killing people to get what you want? I haven't seen the Palestinian people kill the Jews. And when these people do do fight back, it's because they're sick and tired of getting slaughtered, losing the land, and getting treated as second class citizens. If you need to fly into Palestine today, you can't do it without going to Israel. So they, they are not free. But nobody do have a voice. And the people that do have a voice and speak up, they are marginalized. Even a human rights um, uh, activist, big, big human rights activist, spoke up about a couple of months ago about what the, um, the Israelis are doing to the Palestinians. And then he applied for a job at another university. And the university tell him, no, you can't get the job because you spoke up against the Israelis. And that's the kind of power these people have. Because when people have power, they don't use it for good. They're always evil. And I just want to put my voice here on the record that I do not agree with what's going on in Palestine. I'm, I do not, I do not, these, these Israelis and these Jews, I do not like what they are doing to the Palestinian people. What little I have, they can come and take it. Because I don't have any power. All I have is a voice and determination. And, and what I really, really have is principle. I sit on principle. You can probably kill me. You can probably take everything. But what I believe in my heart and what I believe is right, you can't take that away from me. I'm going to take that to my grave. And I'm not going to bend my knee just because I want economic um prosperity and I, I i i just going after money i don't worship money i don't go after money if you put me in the forest i can probably survive because i know how to survive i i try not to depend on or man or governments for anything if the government shut down tomorrow, all the supermarkets sh shut down, I can start planting food, I can, I can, I know how to survive. There's a lot of people who can't survive, so they can't speak up, because they are, they are, they're dependent on other people. And a lot of people as well don't have principle, and that's something that's very important, principle. Anyhow though, I want to give my voice to the Palestinian people and tell them, I don't have any power, I can't help you, but I can only do, only thing I can do is lend my voice to you. And I can march in solidarity with you, the Palestinian people. Any people, the people of Yemen too. I can do another voice about that, another video about that. The people of Yemen. Anyhow, I got to get going now because I got a lot of things to do. So I want you to like, share and subscribe because YouTube is shall blocking me, shall banning me. I know that. I send them an email and they fail to respond. <laughs> but I didn't send an email because these people are criminals. YouTube, Google, oh, oh, Facebook, these these. These people are just there to control. And there's one thing. When you see things in the media, don't believe it. Take it with a grain of salt. And if these people are repeating things over and over to you, you know it's a lie. Don't fall for it. I just want to send my condolences to my friends. You understand? I got some friends that are Syrians and they probably lose family or something. 
and the earthquake there. I just want to touch on that for fast. Just tell them, you know, my heart goes out to them and I hopefully that their families are safe there. Because I know a lot of people that is from Syria. And so far, I just about one also I don't really like, but they are good people. And I don't like I, I don't like that person for one reason. I won't discuss it here. But all the rest is a blessing. Anyhow, take care and be good. And like, share and subscribe. Bye for now.